What's going on guys? I want to do a video on my Patagonia Level 3A uh, Softshell Jacket. I misspoke in the end of my Orc video and said this was also a Level 5. This is not. This is a Level 3A. So starting out on the inside of the jacket, you have your Patagonia tag with all your information uh, stating that it's a Level 3 Pup Jacket. On the inside here, you have kind of a quilted, uh, cross-stitched internal section. Uh, I would, would like to mention right now that this entire jacket is insulated, uh, so it is Patagonia's Polar Tech system. So if you have any of Patagonia's jackets with the Polar Tech, it's going to be the exact same with the insulation throughout. At the bottom here, you have pretty much the industry standard waist adjusters with the elastic and the uh, little quick release clamp. On the outside of the jacket, you have AOR1 zippers all throughout. They are not taped, so they aren't going to be as water resistant as the Orcs. Uh, with a Hypalon pull tab on these, same material with the CryJPC shoulder, uh, shoulder straps, if you're familiar with that. With pretty large pockets, uh, you can definitely fit a hand with a mitten or a, a big uh, winter glove in here for sure. They, they're pretty much that big. They're huge. Uh, you have one on each side of the jacket. As you can see here, it's kind of hard to tell because this entire thing is AOR1. Uh, and then you have a breast pocket, same pull tab on the zipper. This one, a little bit smaller. I tend to put my phone and a notebook in this one. Moving on from there, on the bottom of the sleeves, you have kind of an elastic a retaining ring to tighten the jacket around your wrists. I find this to be very comfortable. I wasn't a huge fan of these until I really started to wear this jacket and I find this to be very comfortable compared to like your Velcro uh, cinch down ones like on the Orc. Uh, they're both fine. It really doesn't matter but these ones are pretty comfortable for what they are. So this jacket is not going to be as water resistant as the Orc obviously because this is a level 3 and that's a level 5 but this jacket is surprisingly well in windy conditions. Same with the Orc, but in the windy conditions, you really don't feel any wind through this. The Orc, you feel a little bit just due to the way that that jacket is made. This being insulated, it keeps you very warm, uh, surprisingly warm for a level three. Uh, and it's kind of just your light little puff jacket that you can compress really small and fit into small pouches or into a backpack very tightly. And for kind of more windy, uh, rather than rainy days. So if you have any questions on this, let me know down below. Unfortunately, I can't leave a link for you guys to go buy this because this is a restricted item. Uh, it does have an NSN on it and all that fancy stuff for the people that are into that. So you kind of have to find these on eBay or on Instagram uh, used. I got lucky and found this one for a really good price. One of my buddies was selling it and it was basically brand new in my size, which is unheard of. So if you have any questions on it, like I said, leave it down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.